I'm Cray Price. I'm a civil engineer, a flood modeler, and a HECRAS trainer. I'm thrilled to have been asked by IceWarm to help out as an instructor for their very first online training course in HECRAS. Now, in this course, we're going to focus on the new features that are available in the just released HECRAS version 5.0.4. Um, for this course, we're going to assume that you're familiar with some of the basic functions of HECRAS already, that you're just looking to master some of the new features. But if you are brand new to it, um, don't shy away. We'll send you some additional materials that you'll just have to complete before you start this course. Now, what are you going to get out of this course? There are plenty of other tutorials that cover how to set up models, but instead of just uh, running a black box, we're going to make sure that you're up to speed on the theory behind it and we'll provide you some context around uh, why you're changing particular variables. Now our first course covers the newly available features in RAS Mapper that allow you to build a model in 1D from scratch without having to use any other software. And so we'll get up to speed on putting in cross sections and flow paths and animating them in RAS Mapper. We will also go back into the tools in 1D that allow you to interrogate um, 1D features um, as you always could and animate those. You can look inside of structures, get the culvert hydraulics, you can spin things around. We'll go ahead and start with a model uh, that's been built from scratch and then you'll be able to interrogate it any way you'd like. Now in our 2D model um, or 2D course you're going to be able to start again with a blank screen, start from scratch, and we'll turn it into an animation. Um, you'll be able to use some of the new features, polygon refinement regions, variable time steps, internal boundary conditions, and of course the new culvert options that allow you to put inlets and outlets anywhere you'd like. Um, in the end, we'll end up with a model that you can then view and troubleshoot and tweak, do sensitivity analyses and extract results from. Um, but I hope you'll join us for this online course. Um, of course, we'd love to have you in our face-to-face -face courses, but we do recognize that the locations are not always convenient due to travel requirements. And so we've tried to structure this course to be as interactive as possible. You will have direct access to our instructors, to our facilitators. Uh, you'll get all your questions answered, and we are confident that you'll have a great learning experience. So we look forward to seeing you online. Thanks.